Well, I, I mean, I, I, I don't know that I have a, um, any kind of immediate hostility to people who are trying to make the world a better place through, what is it, science, technology, engineering, and math. Yeah. I'm all in favor of those things. Um, I'll say a couple things, though. The first thing I'll say is that I think that a technocratic set of solutions is not going to work in the absence of some kind of reckoning with social inequality. I think that the reckoning of social inequality um, and I guess cultural specificity is what historians are really good at. And so it seems to me that um, solutions to the problems that are identified as the problems that are being potentially solved by folks working in these fields um, needs to be articulated through or articulated with a set of understandings um, about the given world as produced by by history. So that would be the first thing I'd say. The, the second thing I'd say is that there is a kind of, um, even in the field of history, there's a um, a somewhat novel set of arguments around forwarding the human as our subject of analysis. And the reason that we forward, want to forward the human as our subject of analysis is because now all human beings face a similar challenge, which is the challenge of global warming. And this argument, I think, is put forward sometimes as if it is a historical argument because it, it's argued that there are certain kinds of similarities that all human beings have faced throughout their their long history or their deep history but it it seems to me that to actually function as a very 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 thin historical argument because there's an assertion of commonality while there is an elision of all of the sorts of historical particularity and hierarchy around race, say, or, or class, or gender, or post-coloniality, or age, or location, or different sorts of ecological circumstance, um, or development, or, you know, e extend the list, that actually are the things which inhibit any kind of actually existing social movement around the question of human commonality in the face of environmental degradation from happening. It seems to me that then that's a problem that historians have a lot to say about. Mm -hmm. But not through simply saying, well, let's get rid of all this stuff that all these people have been working on in social history for so long because what it's doing is it's standing in the way of our recognition that we are human beings confronting climate change caused by capitalism and we don't need to study social particularity anymore. It seems to me that it is actually through the study of social particularity, hierarchy and difference that we're going to maybe be able to move forward in that way.